Well, one of the most popular things here on the Rock and Sea Homestead is our self-watering tubs, and we're gonna show you how we build them. Well, folks, welcome back to the Rock and Sea Homestead. My name is Lance. I want to welcome you to our channel. And just like I was saying, we are building some self-watering beds. This is the most popular thing here on the homestead, not just from us, but anybody that we've ever gave one of these to that used them. They love them. They work well. And with us, combined with our super soil mixture, these things are growing powerhouses, and we can't wait to tell you guys about it. So what do you need? to make one of these. That's what we're gonna cover real quick. So we like to use the two foot by four foot stock tanks. Now when you buy these, sometimes there's like a small, medium, large of the two by four, cause that's how they ship them cause they can fit within each other. You may go through them or something and when you're at the big box store or whatever, just get one of these. I leave the plug that's in it, I leave it there. We're gonna talk about how to drain it here in a little bit. Make sure that you leave that in there. And then you're gonna need a piece of PVC pipe, just long enough so it sticks out. And we're gonna do something with that. So you're gonna need a circular saw. So we're gonna cut this. A couple other things that you're gonna need is, we like to use six inch landscape perforated uh, piping. So it's, water can go in and out of this thing. And we'll show you what we use for that. So we're probably gonna need about uh, we'll, we'll get that. I don't want to spoil the fun for you there. So a couple other things that you're going to need. You're going to need a drill with a fairly decent sized drill bit that goes through metal. You're going to need a tape measure and some landscape fabric. And we like to cut ours with a blowtorch. Nothing says fun like using a blowtorch. So that's what we're going to do. So that's all the things that we're going to need to get this thing built. So let's get it built. All right, so the first step I like to do is drill the hole. Now, since we got six inch irrigation pipe, that means I'm gonna drill a hole at five inches. So we want an inch of air within this tube. So this tube's gonna lay on the bottom. We're gonna have three sections of it that lays on the bottom. And then we're gonna put a hole in this thing at five inches. So that's only gonna allow water to fill up five inches and it's gonna allow any extra water to spill out. So there's always a little bit of air all the way through this so once we start getting soil and everything else in there, there's less likelihood of root rot and those type of things. But that's why we like to leave at least a, an inch of air. So if you only can find four inch tube, then unfortunately I would do a three inch hole or three inch tall hole. We've done that before and it's worked great. You just have to fill up the water more often because you have less water in the whole container. So that's what we're gonna do. And again, it's not rocket science or anything. That kind of stuff is pretty, I just kind of measure it up, kind of where I'm at. And then there's the hole right there. And then I just drill it. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to start cutting the irrigation tubing. Like I said, we're going to need three pieces of it. So I just kind of eyeball it, kind of measure it up here a little bit. And then I just take a box knife with a new blade and just come in here. And it cuts pretty easy with the new blade. And you see how that's gonna lay in there? That would be my middle piece. And then I'll cut a couple smaller ones or shorter ones for the two sides. And then we'll go to the next step. All 
All right, so as we were getting these cut, we noticed that this, t this tub is a lot narrower than what these are. These were a little bit bigger ones. This must be the small version of the two by four, the two foot by four foot. So we're only gonna be able to put two of these pipes in here. These are six inch ones. So if we try to put a third one in there, it just doesn't fit. And we thought maybe we'd put a couple right here, but I think this is a good enough amount of space because really what you're looking for, and the reason why you need the pipe in here is we're gonna have uh, that, that ground covering over this and then the soil laying on top of this. And what that causes is that soil can get a little bit of touching of the water because we're gonna put dirt all through here, all through here on the sides where it kind of dips down. And that's gonna get water from that chamber down below. It's gonna wick up all that soil. And then as the plants grow, these are pretty small. We're still watering from the top, but in about a month or so, the roots are gonna be deep enough so the roots can get down in here, get the water, bring it up, fresh clean water all the time. So then when it comes to like fertilizing, top dressing, all those type of things that you do to feed your, your plants as the season goes along, you can do that all up top, just put pure water down the hole and it is a growing machine. So I just wanted to show you guys, so this is a different tub that we're building as well. And you can see this is a little bit wider and it actually fits three of these in here. It is tight but it does fit still plenty of room to get soil to water touching with that membrane in between it. But I just wanted to make sure that you guys didn't think I was crazy with that one. That one's just super narrow. All right, so the next step I'm gonna do is to cut just a little angle off of this PVC pipe right here. So this is just, you know, two, two inch. It's like, uh, it's actually two foot, one and a half inch. I prefer the little wider, it's a little bit easier to, to water. As you can see here, we got probably three in or three foot, uh, about the same size though. Uh, we got some that are smaller, it's just a lot harder to water them as we go through with some of our watering devices. But what I'll just do is just angle cut this. And the reason why is when you lay this straight down, if it was flat, it could get suction onto the bottom and you wouldn't get any water through. If you leave it at an angle, any water that comes through here is gonna pour out into that reservoir. So that's what we're gonna do now, just kind of trim this up a little bit. All right, so once you get this cut, you got a little angle on it. Now we have to make a hole in our piping that this is gonna go through. So what I just do is bring in, come in here with the utility knife and just make a big X. Make sure you're watching out for your fingers. Try to cut away from yourself. And so you just kind of want this to make sure this can go through. And I need to make sure this is cut all the way. And sometimes you may have to cut down. The main thing is you just want that to sit in. There we go. So once we get everything else on it, this is gonna be here right over here by the side. We'll have the fabric cloth on it. Then we'll put our super soil in it. We'll be ready to roll. All right, so I got this fabric cloth rolled out. And of course you get this in like 300 foot rolls. We use it for about everything around here. But once we do that, we'll get this started. And I have it kind of approximated on the length of, of the tub. I just make it a little longer. And then I just come through Wind's blowing on me. And I just melt it all in one long line. And what that does is it kind of seals up all the edges. If you try to cut it, it kind of unweaves itself. And so this way, everything's nice and straight and it's kind of sealed up on the sides there. All right, so we got our fabric cloth cut off the roll. So now I'm just making this a hole to fit in there. And then I just bring it all the way down and start tucking it in. And what I want is a boundary between the metal and 
the air cavity or water cavity that we'll have. And if it's too long on this side, I can just go back through and I can just cut some out. But what I want is to be able to kind of seal all this stuff in and the dirt hold it. So then when it comes to filling this full of soil, we'll have plenty of soil to water touching and then there's plenty of air in here to be able to make healthy, great plants. All right, so really these are built, or this one's built. All we have to do now is put in the soil and we're gonna make up a batch of our super soil. If you haven't seen our video on super soil, I'll leave a card up here so you guys can check it out. We're gonna make a new video about the next batch and actually we're gonna fill these up during that batch. But this is how this works. Once the soil, whatever soil you figure out that you'd like, you just put it in here and then you can plant. And I'm telling you guys, it is the best way to grow things. If all of this garden was gone and we had to redo it, I would 100% replace our entire garden with these and not any of the other stuff because these things are that great at growing plants, 100%. But guys, thanks for coming back watching our video. If you haven't uh, subscribed to our channel, make, your, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, ring that bell so you get notified every time we put out a video. And from our homestead to yours, have a blessed day and we'll catch you on the next video.